India started with the two overnight batters, and soon number 700 came up for Jimmy Anderson. With the wicket of Kuldeep Yadav, a magnificent journey, found its summit here. Then, very good piece of work from Ben Fox, and Bumrah's resolute defence ended. India were bowled out for 477. Then England came out, Karthik, and we sort of expected what they were going to do, but they did it a little too quickly. Soon after, they finished the celebrations for Bashir's Pfeiffer and Anderson's 700. They're coming down the track. Rush of blood, trying to be different. Ben Dake this time. Oli Pope looked good for the time he was there. After that first innings, you know, the first game in Hyderabad, this was brilliant. Just the way he worked him around to get that wicket three deliveries. Joe Root came and played the reverse sweep and then the sweep. Went straight into the hands, a good catch from Yashasvi Jaiswal, giving Ravi Chandran Ashwin the third wicket of that spell. And then the two Yorkshiremen came together. Good partnership between them, one being aggressive and the other one quite solid in his defence. Uh, Johnny Bester took the attack to Ashwin and got him out of the attack after a couple of overs. Ravindra Jadeja came in from the other end. And this was the period where... Kuldeep Yadav had to be brought into the attack and he struck immediately. Thought that it would spin a bit more but wasn't. He caught in front and this was just before lunch. The stroke of lunch, Ravi Chandran Ashwin reaching the defence of the English skipper to get England five down. So Ashwin getting strokes out for the 13th time means England go into lunch 103 for five, trailing by 156. And the tour that started so well is coming to the end. England 156 behind at 103 for 5. The highlights of the second session. Ben Stokes was this was just before lunch and then Ravi Chandran Ashwin went through Ben Folks to give him his fifth wicket. Some resistance from the lower order Saniji. Yes, Tom Hartley can bat. And we see this with the shot, but then Bumra, who's had his number because he gets that ball to angle in the knee below Tanda, trapped him in front and then followed a couple of deliveries later with this fast Yorker to get Mark Goodleg before as well. But Joe Root carried on. Joe Root got to a half century and was looking good. Oh, gorgeous cover drive. Then Shoy Bashir also joining the party with the big shot. They're getting a little bit of length outside the off stump. Good enough for the classy Joe Root to get the boundaries and then the reverse <laughs> scoop coming in. And then a little bit of turn. Got Bashir out. The reverse sweep being brought in again. Then looking to try and get to a century. He was 16 shots at first, but looking to go for the big shots. And uh, being dismissed for 84. Leaving India winners by an innings and 64 runs. That is a massive, massive margin. And that's how this match played out. England winning the toss on a good surface. Uh, we're bundled out for 218, courtesy Kuldeep Yadav and his brilliant bowling, 5 for 72. India in reply, two centurions, Shubman Gill and Rohit Sharma, led this uh, assault against the English team. 477 is what they manage. Shoaib Bashir getting back-to-back -back five wicket holes in two test matches. The youngest Englishman to do that under the age of 21 and in reply. England once again shot out for 195 to give India a series victory and also a win by an innings and 64 runs.